niggas ever What's going on? Like What's going like on? Down in the bed it's your boy, your me and him, man. You see nothing left inside but your inner soul. But if you look a little That's deeper, y'all, then maybe you know. Maybe you know. Me and him, you know. Coming at y'all with another video. And today, we're talking about the glow. What is the glow? People talk about when you get on semen retention, you get the glow. I've had the glow a few times. I don't think I got the glow right now because I'm not so many days in, right? But what is the glow? And is the glow real? The glow is real, for one. The glow is real. So anybody that's tell you otherwise, get them out of there. See, it's, pe- it's certain people that try to tell you otherwise because they know they never accomplished what it is you're trying to accomplish or what it is that you already accomplished, right? So you can't listen to the naysayers. I had a dude on my comments yesterday trying to tell me, hey, when you know when you when you hold in your semen for two weeks, your body is gonna naturally release it out. Like, bro, what what is you talking about? How you gonna first of all, how you gonna tell me what my body's gonna do to me? This body that I've been in all my life. You're going to tell me what my body and trying to argue with me about it. Like, bro, my body is not your body. If your balls is weak and only can go for two weeks and releasing after two weeks, that's your balls. You need to goddamn go to the hospital and see what's going on with your balls, man. It shouldn't it shouldn't take no two weeks. Baby boy, I ain't going to go in on them, but yeah, man. So you can't listen to the naysayers. All right. But, you know, some people t- will tell me, like, hey, man, you're glowing. You got the glow. So, first of all, let's, 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 let's remove the physical, right? Let's get into the internal, not the external, the internal. So, what is the, the glow internally? The glow internally means you're at peace within, right? So you can tell somebody that's at peace with them before you even see a physical glow. You're going to sense a spiritual glow on them. You're going to sense a uh, a energy on them. Y'all, you ever been around somebody that's just very peaceful, like nothing upsets them. Um, You you really can't do nothing to aggravate them. They're still human and things like that. Like they show emotion. They show every emotion, but it's not to the extent of someone who's not at peace. Someone who's not at peace, a car, well, I ain't going to use that example. Well, that is a great example. A car can cut in front of them, and they, that'll ruin their whole day. They cussing. They, 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 they might even get to the point of cutting back in front of them. Now, they potentially almost getting into an accident. You know what I mean? That's somebody that's not at peace, that's letting small things and sometimes things that's out of your control, you know, mess up your whole day. Somebody with inner peace, it's going to take a lot for them to show and feed into someone else's negativity and ignorance. Like, it just is naturally, you, you naturally notice it because everyone don't have that inner glow, right? So, That's the spiritual inner glow of just being at peace within yourself. Some people can't be by themselves. Some people can't sit alone by themselves. They can't go out to eat by themselves. They can't do anything by themselves because they know when they get by themselves, they have to deal with the internal issues. And they can't do that because they're not at peace. So they don't have the they don't have the internal peace. Right. The inner glow. I want to change my camera view real quick. All right, so they don't have the inner glow. So, hold on, y'all. So, what is the what is the glow? Also, when you're talking about semen retention. So, when you're practicing semen retention, you're retaining your seed. Your substance is building up, right? Your life force, your essence is building up. And 
is not staying in your lower chakra, in your lower body, in your lower self. For for some people who don't like uh, the word chakra for some reason, but that's our, you know, that's our word. You know what I mean? Um, just say your lower, your lower abdominal, right? All that energy right there. As you begin to retain more and more, that energy begins to rise. If you're working on yourself, if you're going to the gym, if you're meditating, if you're doing the bri the breathing exercises I'll be telling y'all about, if you're doing all of these things, that energy would naturally begin to rise. Also, a secret that um, I learned from watching Buddha Zen channel, um, if y'all don't know who that is, tap in with him. He don't do YouTube videos no more, but I learned some things from him. Doing headstands. Just doing headstands to get that blood circulating back to the top of, the, of, your, of your head. Um, getting that energy to come down the spinal cord back to the top of your head. If you're doing these things, retaining, you will see a physical glow in your body on your body is no denying it your skin will naturally begin to heal itself your 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 skin will become more smooth more potent more um naturally moist without you having to put all these chemicals on it like me, I, I stopped using chemicals on my face. It ain't ha probably almost six months now since I used like some real like hard chemicals on my face. Um, I'm like, yo, we, we got everything in us already. We got the zinc. We got the, the potassium. We got the protein. We got all these natural nutritions inside of us. All we have to do is let it happen, right? So one of the things to do to let it happen is to retain. And then you naturally get that glow. You naturally get that glow on your skin. For example, when 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 a woman gets pregnant, and this is even before she's showing. I don't know how they know it. Well, I know now, but before, like back in the day, I used to always hear people say, oh, yeah, she looked pregnant. Or... She got a glow about her. Yeah, she pregnant. And as I started learning about the life force energy and things like that, I realized that's the same thing. When a woman is carrying your life force in her body, your seed, even she glows. Even she glows. You can't deny it. Ask any woman, ask any female who's been pregnant. I bet you someone told them either they're glowing or it's just something different about them before they was probably even showing. Because sometimes you don't even some you don't even know the glow. You just you just know it's something different about this person. And that's because they're holding that life force energy. Same for a female when she's when she's practicing celibacy also. She's holding her life force energy. She's glowing. You're glowing. It's a natural physical glow. But if you're not doing the work, right? If you're glowing, if you if you're practicing semen, if you're practicing semen intention, but not doing the inner peace work your glow is not going to be as bright. Naturally, you be, you're you peaceful most of the time when you're on seam retention. You do feel that, that masculine rage because you're building up that testosterone, which is natural. So you're not letting, you're not letting disrespect, you know, you're not letting disrespect just come off as you would normally do. You're not letting people get away with certain things. You're not being the nice the nice guy right so naturally you got that testosterone built up from the testicles 
testosterone, testicles. It's the same thing. Let's put it together. Now, we got to start using our, our right hemisphere of our brain now. We can't keep being on the left side. I have to break it down for some of y'all because y'all be getting in the comments trying to dispute everything, man. And y'all ain't never even tried it. Y'all ain't never had a glow. You ain't never had a glow. Right? So when you, when you, when you got the glow, right? You'll see a, a, a change spiritually, physically, and then the universe is going is going to respond to your glow. Also, the universe will respond to your glow. You will start to receive blessings out of nowhere. I'm not I'm not playing, and not even out of nowhere. You will start to receive the blessings you want. When you say, "I want." this thank you to the most high thank you for blessing me with a new car and you don't even got the car yet but you just thank you you just already showing gratitude you're going to get that new car you're going to get the car it might not be the exact car you want you're going to get that new car because now the universe has to pay attention to you because now you're vibrating at a different frequency. Just like the universe pays attention to you when you're vibrating at a low frequency and all, all the bad shit is happening to you. Because that's what you're attracting. When you begin to raise your frequency, it's vice versa. You start to attract all the blessings to you, all the good things. How do you, how do you get to that level? You retain your seed. You retain your essence. This is not nothing new. This is what they've been teaching us. Well, not teaching us, but trying to tell us for so many years. But they can't put it out in plain, in plain words of description like I'm doing for you all. They can't do it because they know what is going, what's going to happen. So instead of them telling you the truth... You know, they 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 spin it around and also they put other things in front of you to distract you for those because they don't want you to know the truth. They want you to not get the glow. You know what I'm saying? When you when you practicing semen retention, when you're practicing celibacy for women, because women can get the glow too. We we're gonna stop. Just excluding women from this because we need we need our, our righteous women. Women can get the glow too. I ain't heard nobody say that, so I'm gonna be the first to say it. Women can get the glow too. I don't. I've I've seen women who practice celibacy and just had that that aura on them. Like you could you could feel it. You can feel it physically, sexually, because we are sexual beings. So when you when you when you've been retaining for ninety days. She's been celibacy for 90 days and y'all come together and just be around each other. Like, come on, man. That, that's that's powerful. Y'all can create whatever y'all want to create in that in that in that moment. That's why we don't we don't shun having sex on semen retention. We just shun releasing your seed. But when you practice charisma, charisma sex. When you when you and your partner just going at it and instead of you as a man just always thinking about a, a, a ejaculation, you thinking about an orgasm. A lot of y'all men have never even experienced a full body orgasm. Don't even know what that is. Cause you've been taught wrong. You've been taught, oh, you can't have sex or demon retention. Nah, you shouldn't, especially if it ain't with the right person. But you can if it's with the right person. And y'all building something. Y'all got a union together. And y'all y'all practicing charisma. Y'all making love. And y'all speaking life into each other. Why, why, why y'all, why y'all, you know, why y'all in each other's realms? You know how powerful that is? You know how powerful sex is? It's the most powerful thing on earth. Next to money. But sex is first. Then money. Sex is sacred energy exchange. 
it gets no more powerful than that. And money, that's just a currency. That's energy as well. So just imagine y'all both got the glow. She got the glow. You got the glow. Is the glow real? The glow is real. It's as real as it get. I've had the glow before. Because you're going to see it on yourself. Where are you going to see it at first? If y'all go look at my old video, what did I tell y'all? Most of the times you're going to see it first in your eyes. Your eyes will start to glow. Your eyes will be bright. Like right now, my eyes are starting to glow more. I'm in the shade. I ain't in the sun. I ain't finessing y'all. You know how people be in the sun and try to get y'all in the... Let me see if I can get in the sun. You see that? I look, it's different. But when I, they still, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't finessing y'all. I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all the truth. A lot of times you just, you're going to see it in a person's eyes. Majority of the time you'll see it in a person's eyes. Just like when somebody is sick, you can see it in their eyes. When people are dealing with internal issues, liver failure, uh, kidney failure, heart problems, uh, colon issues, all these issues, you can see it in the people's eyes a lot of times. Real talk. Look, Start looking in people's eyes. You can see it in people's eyes like the glow. You'll see it there first before you see it anywhere else. So you may, you may not see it on somebody's skin because they might have severe acne or something like that. But that don't mean they don't have the glow. That don't mean that. It's different levels to the, to what the glow is. Sometimes the glow is just coming at you, coming out you from what you're saying. Like this free this video is freestyling. I'm freestyling, but it's just coming out. It's just coming out. It's it's just a it's just an energy. You're gonna notice when you got the glow. People are gonna want to come around you. People are gonna hate you. You you they don't even know why they hate you. Like I just came from the gym. People are intimidated by you when you got the glow. They they looking at you. They mugging you. They don't know why. They just doing it. Like they can't help it because they sense something on you that they don't have. It's like a it's like a it's like animals when you in a jungle. You know you the king of the jungle. And then you know you got other animals around you just looking at you like, look at him. He think he, he think he the king of the jungle. He is the king, but man, look at him. Why he walking like that? Like just hating on you for no reason. Really want to be your friend because you got the glow. Then then females they sense your glow, but all females not gonna rock with you because you got the glow. Because it's a lot of low level vibrating females out here. So when they sense your energy, they gonna try to try to bring you down, try to make you feel insecure. Cause they they don't they don't even respect the glow. Some of them don't. But that's the glow. <laughs> it took me like what nineteen minutes to let y'all know what the glow was, but. I ain't, I had to speak on it real quick, you know, just real quick, something for y'all, for my senior retention family. Um, if you like this video, make sure you comment, subscribe, share, you know. and I'm going to tap in with y'all in the next video.